How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to change the ink on your Epson WF2540. Now for this printer it's a little tricky because most printers um, when you lift up the side there's a, a little slot you can pull up. When you open the printer usually the ink just pops out. Now this one doesn't work that way. You actually have to go to the settings and tell it that you want to change the ink. So what we're going to do on the screen here, we're on the main screen, we want to go to our settings and so to do that it tells you to press this button which is right here, menu. So press that and then we're going to go down to ink levels, click OK and then it tells you you need to replace the blue. So we're going to press OK and it shows that the blue is out and the magenta is about to go out. So we're going to go down to cartridge replacement and you're using the arrows to go up and down here. Press OK. And now the inks are going to pop out because we're telling it that we're going to replace. So I've picked up a multi-set. This is a four pack. You find for about 25 bucks and this has all the colors in it. So we're going to open this up. Okay. We've opened it up and we'll replace the uh, cyan first. And so, what we are going to do is this little slot right here, tear that off, take that one out. And then we're also going to replace the magenta, so we're going to open that up too. Take it out first. Now we're going to pull out the old cartridge. If you look all the way back here, there's a, a little tab right in the back. And so basically you just want to press. Yeah, this might be a better angle here. Press and then just lift it out like that. Same thing with the magenta press and pull it out okay now on the cartridge before you put it in make sure to pull this yellow tab off and we're gonna pull that and then on the magenta as well we're gonna pull the tab off there and we're gonna take it and Make sure that the computer chip end is facing this way or facing in. And we want to just match it right up into the blue slot. And then the magenta. We're going to take that. And it just, it just snaps right into place. And when you're done, we're just going to close the printer. And then on the screen, you're going to press OK, which tells them that you're done replacing. And then it will tell you that it's checking the ink levels. And then you're going to give it give it like a minute or so. And after that, the screen should pop on and it will say complete. And you're done. Alright? Hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to SU Tech Videos. And uh, keep watching, alright? Have a good one.